Uh, well, my name is Claudio Ruiz, and I'm the executive director of a Chilean NGO, a Chilean-based NGO called Derechos Digitales. And, um, and our job is mainly, uh, well, based in Santiago, but focused in Latin America and fundamental rights and uh, new technologies. So the kind of thing that we uh, work is are related on freedom of expression on the internet, um, copyright mainly, and of course, privacy. But we're in the middle of something and that uh, we're in the middle of for the for general public to uh, face privacy as something important which uh, i'm not saying it's not but what i'm trying to say is uh, with uh, with all the information that we have now and with all the opportunities that the technology offer to surveil to surveil to 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 analyze information to cross uh, databases and so on uh, I have the feeling that maybe in Chile there's something happening regarding privacy and and, and this is where we are uh, in the middle of that discussion. And this is why an organization like us is facing that struggle and trying to put the human rights discussion and the human rights argument uh, over that uh, reform and over that legal perspective. Generally speaking, people are not so aware about what surveillance is and what are the damages that surveillance uh, actually um, make. So um, this is the first thing. Uh, but that doesn't mean that there's no uh, way that the people actually get aware about what is happening. For instance, uh, we have a couple of research over um, privacy and criminal prosecution happening in Chile because uh, in our hypothesis is to that people really don't are not quite aware about the privacy breach from the legal perspective. So it's important maybe to, to, to put a light some for, on, on this specific area where it's not very political interest uh, over that, of course. It's, a more, it's, it's, it's not just personal, it's more something related with the, our democracy, and which is a very legal argument if you prefer. But I think it's important in the way that I totally believe that uh, when you have a very weak uh, privacy protection, generally speaking, uh, your freedom of expression is compromised. And when your freedom of, of expression is compromised, uh, talking in a more wide sense, uh, the democracy is compromised. So uh, at the end, the, the, the importance of the freedom fighters and the importance of the privacy fighters is a, is a fight not about your personal rights, and it's, it's more about how to protect your own democracy and how to fortify your democracy.